Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Vision Vanilla. Today I'm starting a coding series for you all. So, um, a few people have been suggesting this, and I thought it'd just be nice to start a coding series for you guys. Um, so let's get right into this. So I'll be posting this. Um, I don't know actually how often I'll be posting this, but I'll post it often so you guys can uh, learn the code. It's really actually quite fascinating. All right. So let's start this tutorial off. So first, we're going to go through how to download Eclipse. So you want to go to Eclipse.org, and then click on the Downloads tab, and then you want to find the Eclipse Standard 4.3.1, and whether your Windows is 32-bit or 64-bit, uh, you can download whichever one you need. And then the, you can switch out for Linux and Mac. So once you got that so go ahead and download that. It may take a few minutes, and then I'll meet you back um, when you uh, want. Then you want to download and install Clips. Just follow the instructions. I'm not gonna go through that because I already have a Clips, but just make sure you have all that. Just go through the instructions and uh, install that. So now we're gonna go ahead and see what it looks like when you open up Clips. So. When you come down here, I have it on my uh, hotbar here, so I'm just gonna open up Eclipse, and it's gonna open this Eclipse Kepler thing. So you're just gonna wait for it to load all the way to here. So then, once that loaded, what well, once that loads, you'll you'll come into this. Um, it'll be a different screen, but basically, um, you want to. Uh, basically, it'll be this cool little screen. You want to click on the workbench. There's a little thing called a workbench. You want to click on that. So then we can start our um, code. But before we can do that, we have to download the bucket jars. So you want to go to bucket.org and you want to download the two jars. So you want to find that get craft bucket. So you want to go here and download the latest craft bucket. So once you download that, just save the download and then you just download craft bucket and since I already have that I'm just gonna discard that. So you download craft bucket, make sure you have make sure you know where you're gonna download it. Make sure you know where you download it, save the download. Alright. So now we're gonna um go ahead and go to uh what was it? okay. So now once you get that downloaded you should be in your download folder. So now let's go ahead and create our new plugin. So we're going to just call. So what you want to do? All right. So over here, it's called a package explorer, and basically this is where you keep all your plugins. As you can tell, this is where all my plugins are. So you just right-click this area, hit new, and then click Java project. Now you want to name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to name it YouTube. Let that finish, and then now we have our little thing here so uh, I already have something like that so I'm just gonna actually I already have one like this so I'm just gonna make, name it something else so you just click new Java project and call it Z YouTube alright so then you have this little triangle here and you want to cl click that and then where it says SRC uh, just right, right click that hit new package and then I like to do it so me dot vicious dot z YouTube. So that's pretty much up. like you just want to put me and then your name and then z YouTube. So then you want to right click on that and click class and I name it z YouTube or whatever your thing is called. So then before we go into making this plugin, I'm sorry I didn't go too much in depth on how to download this stuff, but you want to right click z YouTube, click properties. Go to Java Build Path, and then add external jars. There, you want to import your craft bucket that you downloaded. Um, it, I have two. I like to import two. I don't know where I got this one, but I know well, this craft bucket one is definitely on the site. So I'm just gonna go with that one right now. All right. So now we got that all set up. Now we can start a code. Now before we start a code, um you want to set up this area right here alright so we're gonna go ahead and start our code so basically you have your uh, package that we created and then you have your public class Z YouTube so then you want to extend Java plugin whoop, Java plugin and impl okay that's all we need for now 
So then you want to hover over Java plugin and import Java plugin. So basically that imports Java plugin so it doesn't bring that error anymore. Alright, so now we, this is basically where this thing is to this is our whole class that we can start coding in. So now we're going to just start coding. So we need to make an on enable. So public void on enable. Oh, enable. And then you want to do open up a bracket and then get server dot get plugin manager dot register events this and then this alright so basically you this is registering events register events this why is this get plugin manager dot register events Okay, so did I spell something? Register events. Oh, okay, sorry. All right, you gotta implement listener up here. So there we go. Import listener. Um, or make sure it's org dot bucket dot event. All right, so now that works. All right, so now uh, we got that. We got the public void on enable. And then now we're going to make our public void on disable. Alright, then we're going to open up a new class. And then you can do bucket dot get server oh, dot get logger dot info. And then you can name this ztube, zutube plugin disabled and you can do this as you can do this on the import bucket real quick alright so you can do this on the enable but I just like it on the disable alright so now we got that set up now we can start our command so we're just gonna go into the very basic stuff so first what you wanna do go down a few lines and do public boolean on command so on the command, command sender, sender, command C and D, string, command label, string args. Alright, so now what this is doing is setting up where our commands can do. So the command sender, you want to import that. And then the command, you want to import that as well. Uh, org.bucket.command. Alright, so this is all and then you want to add a return statement which we'll do right now no no we'll do that later so there'll be a big line right there um, we can just wait so now basically what this means is um, this is where you can set up all your commands so let's go ahead and start doing that so we want to define player so the player that's sending the command so player p equals player sender alright so basically we're defining player we gotta import that org.bucket.entity so import that so now we, we're defining player as a p as p so as a player p equals blood player sender alright so now since we define that now we can start what what happens so if command label equals ignore case test all right so basically what this does is so if the command that they enter is equals a nor case so it doesn't matter if it's case sensitive test it'll do the following p dot send message you have created a basic uh basic plugin all right, so basically, so when they enter this test code in, it'll send the message you have created a basic plugin. So that's some of the basic stuff. Now let's return statement. All right, you want to make this all right. So let's make this a return true real quick. And there we go. So you just add return true. You added your return statement there. And now it should definitely 
be off and running. So let's go ahead and so as you can tell, it's not too much code right here, but when they enter the code test, it'll send them the message you have created a basic plugin. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to export this. So you want to right click your uh, make sure you're highlighting uh, your Java project. Right click it, go to export, and then jar file. So it's in Java jar file. Next, and then you want to browse to a location. So I'm gonna go into my server plugins, and I'm gonna call this uh, test. Uh, no, I'm gonna call it. Yeah, we'll just call it test. All right. So now you want to save that, and then hit finish. And then there we go. So now I'll be back to when I'm on Minecraft testing this plugin. Alright guys, so I hope you guys have been enjoying so far. Let's go ahead and join my server real quick. And then, so, slash test unknown command. Okay, we forgot one thing, guys. Alright, so you want to right-click your Java project, go to new, file, and you want to type in plugin.yml. Alright, so now we got our plugin.yml. So basically with a plugin that one out, this is where you register all your commands. So you want to put name and we'll put Z into. And then the main, this is your package. So you want to do me dot vicious dot whatever you named this package. Z YouTube, it is case sensitive, and then your class, Z YouTube. So your package and then your class. Alright, so then you want to do version 1.0, and then you want to do author vicious vanilla and then you want to do description um i like to just put z youtube and then you can put your commands if you want to register your commands make sure it's two spaces one two and then your first command test and then put the colon and then one two three four is the next thing description and then shows um first command let's call it command and then I like to put the usage one two three four usage slash command alright so now we got a plug in that YMO alright so now we a control S save that and then now we can right click this export it do the same thing go to test make sure it's the same thing finish and overwrite it and now let's reload my server and then slash test and it's still not working. One second, guys. Alright, guys. So it turns out we have something wrong with our, um, uh, we have something wrong with our, um, plugin on YMO. So I'm just gonna open up this one and then let's copy and paste this. Make sure we did everything right. So we need the first command. Alright, so I don't know what happened here, but let's see. Um, this will all be, so Z YouTube. It's me. Me dot vicious dot z youtube and then z youtube all right and then 1.0 z youtube command make a test oh it shows test command all right so let's see if this works so control s that export test dot jar all right let's see slash reload slash test you have created a basic plugin. So there you go guys. Thank you so much guys for watching. And that's how you make your first basic plugin. And real quickly I want to show you guys if you want to change the color of this you can do chat color dot red plus. That's all you have to do to add a color. And there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have please drop a like and subscribe so I know if you guys want to keep seeing this and um, I think this will be very helpful for some of you and I really hope you guys enjoy this series and as you can tell now it's red so I hope you guys enjoyed this series and if you did please please drop a like um, I really like to continue the series for you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time guys peace out